I would like to present to you a paper published in Talanta in early 2016. The identification of trace levels of organic compounds in complex matrices by low resolution GCMS and LCMS is frequently affected by high rates of false positive and false negative results. Compound identification based in both these techniques uh, are supported in analyte retention time and abundance ratio of characteristic mass spectrum fragments of the analyte. Statistically sound criteria for the agreement between the retention times and the abundance ratios observed in calibrators and sample peaks should be defined. If you check signals from the replicate injection of analyte solutions, you can see that analyte retention time and the abundance of analyte fragments are normally distributed. However, if you check the ratio of uh, uh, fragments abundance, you can see that this ratio is not normally distributed. The exact shape of the distribution depends uh, of uh, abundance mean values, standard deviations and correlation. The definition of uh, criteria for uh, abundance ratios starts with the assessment of abundance mean values, standard deviation and correlations using an Excel file made available with the manuscript. In the screen you can see uh, the abundance of three uh, chlorpyrifos methyl fragments where their uh, mean value, standard deviation, degrees of freedom and the correlation of pair of uh, abundance values uh, are estimated. The graph uh, presents the uh, correlation between two uh, abundance of uh, chlorpyrifos uh, methyl uh, fragmentations. Although uh, bonus values were estimated in different days, you can see abundance bonus are heavily correlated. The collected performance data are subsequently used in uh, another Excel file where mean value, standard deviation, degrees of freedom and correlation of uh, uh, abundance values are used to perform Monte Carlo simulations of uh, abundance ratios values. After 100,000 simulations, it is possible to estimate the distribution of abundance ratio values. The first and the 99th uh, percentiles of simulated abundance ratios are used to define the minimum and maximum uh, acceptance values of the abundance ratios for a true positive results rate of 98%. The developed examination strategy was applied to the identification of chlorpyrifos methyl and melatonin in Quetcher's method extracts of vegetables with high water content. Tests were performed in ginger, spring onion and Irish moss seaweed since these commodities are representative of nutritional value diversity of studied foodstuffs. This slide presents identification criteria set for chlorpyrifos methyl, namely the maximum retention time range for 99.9% .9 confidence level of 0.18 minutes, that defines the maximum absolute value of the difference between chlorpyrifos methyl retention time observed in calibrators and the sample peak retention time, and also the minimum and maximum value of two abundance ratios of three uh, characteristic uh, chlorpyrifos methyl fragments. Abundance ratio intervals were set for 98% confidence level. This research also includes the development of analyte signal models in matrix by combining analyte signal models uh, in solvent with matrix signal models and the evaluation of examination uncertainty. All calculations were performed in validated Excel files available from Talanta website. The most relevant conclusions from this uh, work are the fact that normal statistics should not be used to define a Bundes ratio criteria. We can use Monte Carlo simulations of correlated variables to set criteria for a Bundes ratios uh, observed in uh, sample peaks. User-friendly uh, Excel files uh, can be used to apply the developed uh, examination strategy to identifications performed by GCMS and LCMS.